Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 25H2, is just about to be released. We should be hearing an announcement from Microsoft over the next coming days that the update is starting to be pushed out to the general public as I have been posting on the channel. So I thought this would be a good time just to let you know the so-called upgrade path to Windows 11 25H2. If you find yourself running an older version of Windows and would like to get your hands on this year's annual feature update when it does become available. Now it goes without saying I think that if you are running last year's annual feature update Windows 11 24H2 for most 25H2 will appear on the Windows update settings page when it becomes available for your device and in your region. But if you have a computer running Windows 11 version 23H2 or an older release the upgrade process will not take place on this page, but will require a complete reinstallation. Unless though, if that's not the option for you and you don't want to do a clean installation, then what you'll have to do is you will have to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 on this page, on the Windows Update page in Settings. And then after the installation of 24H2, you'll have the option to download and install version 25H2 when it becomes available in your region because Microsoft pushes feature updates out using a controlled phased approach. Now if you want to upgrade from Windows 10 you will have to if your device meets the system requirements you will have to upgrade to version 24H2 first before the option to install version 25H2 becomes available through the Windows Update Settings page in Windows 10 so it's a very similar process to 23H2 and if you want to upgrade directly from version 23H2 or Windows 11 22H2 or from Windows 10 you can use the installation assistant or the media creation tool or the official disk image ISO file of version 25H2 when 25H2 becomes available on the download in Windows 11 page. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, although switching from version 24H2 to 25H2 doesn't require reinstallation because for most it will appear on the Windows Update settings page, you can still though if you want to do a complete reinstallation, you can head to the download Windows 11 page and use the create Windows 11 media creation tool or the disk image ISO image file if you so wish if you don't want the update and you want to do a clean installation so that's just a couple of methods and ways that you can upgrade to version 25H2 if you are running an older version of Windows so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one